Steve, disappointment here this afternoon, 2-1 defeat at Bromsgrove Sporting. But you've got to say, you matched them for most of the game. But uh, one bit of brilliance maybe in the first half, and uh, it was it, it's a bad time to lose a goal, really. Yeah, right before half-time, I think, um, the first half, you know, I, We've, we've created enough chances to, to, to score at least one in the first half, but it's nil nil with, with 43, 44 minutes in the clock, and, and the boy pulls out a bit of magic to, to flick it, flick it over, and, and, and then hit a, hit a volley into the, the bottom corner with probably their second shot on target uh, in 45 minutes. Um, whereas we've kind of we've, we've had four or five really good opportunities to, to, to potentially take the lead, um, uh, and then we, we we came out the second half, and again I thought we were we were we were on top of the game. We had we had opportunities to to, to get back in it. You know we had we had probably three really really good chances that we, you, you take more often than not. I mean today we've we've created we've created more ch enough chances to win two games today, um, and and unfortunately. They've had four or five shots on target, they've scored two, it's the same old story, you know, and, 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 and that's my biggest concern, you know, going forward we've created things, uh, our decision making's got to be better, uh, and at the back our decision making's got to be better and we've got to be tighter and better as a unit. Right now, we're, 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 I mean, you're talking New Year's Day before the last clean sheet that we kept and it's, it's, it's not good enough. And that, that's what it says to the boys in there, you know, we've, we've played well today, we've created opportunities, we've, we've been on the front foot, the, the shape and everything worked. But when you give away chance after chance to, to teams, they're going to take them and, and, and that's what's killing us. This is, of course, the games you want to be playing in, a big attendance and a great feeling, a, a tremendous feeling from both sets of fans here this afternoon. But there just seems to be something a little, sh a little short, maybe. But it looks like you've confirmed third space in the league. It's fine margins. Now, now we've got to a level um, this season that the football club's probably not been at for three or four years. Where we've we've we're now on the front foot. We've we've now got a, a massive expectation on us to to be able to go and deliver. And and quite rightly, you know, quite rightly, we should have that expectation on us. And and, and we've got to we've got to that that very very good and consistent level. It's now the teams that can go to the next level and take that extra step and those those fine margins between winning and losing are so small that they're not going in our favour at the minute, you know, and it's, it's, it's their own doing, you know, that's, that's what I'm talking about. You, you've got to keep clean sheets and keep yourself in the game when you're missing chance after chance, but we don't. Um, you know, and, and, and that's, that's, that's where we have to go now over the next six games. We need to find those fine margins in our favour because if, if we're going to go into the playoffs and we're going to have to get those fine margins in a one-off game and in a one-off game, then you need to have those in your favour and we need to find them from, from somewhere right now because right now we're at a very good level but can we go to that excellent level, that, that, that top level where teams get promoted from? And that's where my question marks are at the minute and that's where we've got to find over the, six, the next six games. And if we get that, that's the a, that's a bit of magic that gets you up. Of course, there was one quite bizarre incident in the game. The referee showed a red card on either a tackle, but then put it back in his pocket, all 22 players stayed on the pitch. He had a word with the referee when that happened. Do you, do you understand what actually happened on the pitch? He wasn't sure who he who had already booked in the game, so he went to get clarification off his linesman, but the linesman was too quick and already wrote Cam down number two in his book for the, the, the tackle he just made. So when the referee looked at his book, he thought that was from a previous tackle and thought, oh, this is the second defence. So he, he gave him the red card and then when we explained to him that no, 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 that, that was a linesman had written that down for the tackle just gone, he rescinded and changed the decision. It, it seems very strange we've got these situations where he shows a red card, but he doesn't make any effort to kind of involve the crowd and let people who are watching what's actually happening because it looked like he just made a complete error and then kind of brushed it under the carpet. Well, he has made an error. You know, he has. He's made an error, and he's got. To, you know, you've got to be brighter than that. You've got to know who you've booked. You've got to understand who you've who you've who you've booked, who you've not booked. So, you know, he's. But in fairness to him, he's went to his linesman again to clarify. You know, a lot of referees would have been stubborn and says no, he's off. So at least he know he understood. I have made the mistake, and he, he did explain it to the benches. You know, it's very it's difficult for him to get it out to fifteen hundred people. So he's explained it to the benches, and both benches were fine with with what he'd what he'd said and. Um, yeah, we just move on from it, and there was there was no mistake made, and, and, and that's what you're looking for. You know, they're all they're obviously changing all these rules at the top with your VARs and your goal line technology and all that, and it's to, to help the referees out as much as they can to not make the mistakes. So if he needs to have an extra minute or two to make the right decision to clarify with his linesman, then fair enough. Indeed, uh, big game again now next Saturday back at Steel Park. Yeah, look, we 
like I said, we've got to a good level. We've got a, we've got to a level where we're 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 having we we we've got that expectation of consistency, and 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 for ninety percent of the season we've got that, and and like I'm saying, we've just got to we've got to make sure that in these games we we're we're at that next level, and and that's what I'm going to be demanding now. I've got to demand that next level from these players, and make them understand what it means to get over the line of a championship. You know, to get promoted, whether it's whether it's winning a league or getting through the the playoffs, we have got to step up to the to the next level, and and and. Over Tuesday, Thursday, it might be a conversation. You know, might, we might be sitting watching the video back and, and explaining what those fine margins are. Because we do have a young team. You know, you you're looking at a lot of the boys that, that we think are, are, are have been here for years. You know, Connor Kennedy's is only 21, 22. Jordan Crawford's are 21s, and Sam Warburton's are 21, 22. Joe Carter's are 20s, and you know, even your Francis's and your Jamie Antons and your your Dan uh, Dan George is only 24 years old. So we have a young team who haven't haven't experienced that fine margin of what it takes to get there and that's where we're at at the minute you know we, we it's easy to go and sign you know 10 11 boys who've done it been there done it seen it done it and, and, and they would they would sit in there today and they would defend well and defend well and hope to go and hit the, the counter attack and get a goal that's not what we're about we're about entertaining and, and playing good football but we've got to understand what it takes to get over the line and next week we need to make sure that we go over the line and make sure we do things properly and well, my biggest thing is keeping a clean sheet. Indeed, Steve. Thanks for your words this afternoon. Cheers. Thank you.